Hello y'all, my name is Rimno, and I am here playing the modern Minecraft and making my tick a sexy up. So, the things that I did in between episodes, I made a little room here where we can actually use to breed the uh, bees. Um, I expand, uh, I put the drawers here so that I can put the, um, and the ender hopper here so that things will go in here and I've upgraded our beehive to tier 4. Four hive, so it can now hold 16 bees and six, uh, 20 honeycombs, and hive time is shortened by 20 percent, uh, and that is about it. Yep. So today, uh, what I want to do is I want to get into doing some chanting, but before doing so, let me just go and sleep. Yeah. All right. Uh, so. <coughs> uh, enchanting. We need um, a little bit of obsidian, of course, four, and two diamonds, and a book. Book. Uh, by the way, there is a way to make books here. Um, the easy way would be to use the leather, but there is something called canvas. This is much easier. You can use something called straw to actually make the canvas and straw comes from just um, <coughs> crushing the crushing the um, what is this rice panicle cutting um, rice panicle or crushing things or one other thing you can do is you can go around and break the um, grass with diamond knife and it will give you bunch bunch of yeah I've got lots of straw now <laughs> You can do that, and that gives canvas. And I will need a bunch of sugar canes, I guess. Now let's go. So now we can actually make the books. Um, no. That should give me papers. And books. Uh, so we've got a bunch of books now. Um, and uh, let's see. You know what? Let's go and pick up some wood. There we go. <clears throat> so now, um, what I want is something called Hell Shelf, because it will um, ramp up the uh, what is it? The maximum level we can get with the enchantments. But first, of course, the enchanting table, uh, and then we will want the. Oh, come on. Green enchanted bookshelf? No. I believe we can use any bookshelf. Uh, come on. Alright, alright. Oh my god. Okay. There we go. And have that should give, give me five bookshelves. Yes, five. Uh, but I want more, I want more, I want at least 15, right? So that means more of the, um, where did it go? Uh, sugarcane and more of the straws. Uh, let's just get one more stack there. And coming back here, we can just put these like so and get a bunch of canvas. I believe I have, yes, I did have sugarcane farm, of course. Great. Um, good for good, good, good for me. Good for me. All right. So get three of them. Oh no, I have to do it in the uh, crafting bench work table. There we go. And then, boom, boom, boom. Oh wait, I think I might have some books. Ah uh, yes, I had punch of books. Oh my god, I did not know. I am sorry. But that should give me more than what I need, at least at the moment. Uh, that's 20. So the next thing is we want the hell shelf, because we can see uh, uh, on the tooltip here, it turned a plus 1, max 15. But this will give 22.5, and it also gives something called Quanta. No idea what Quanta is, but I guess that is something we want to try out. And I believe um, I went into the nether and got a bunch of nether bricks here. Um, we did find the uh, fortress. Let me just show you. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. 
Ooh, right. And looking at the map here, there is a fortress, a big fortress here. I went in and dug out quite a few bit of nether bricks. And that's what I have. And one of these I should be able to make the um, hell shelf, hell, hell, hell shelf, or what's it called? Hell shelves. Oh no, I need blaze rods and potion of regeneration. Um, okay, I guess I should do some blazing stuff. So I did go in. Um, there is a blaze spawner right at, at our uh, entrance to the, uh, the, 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 what is it? The fortress there. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem if I know how to make this uh, enchanting, uh, brewing, brewing. All right. So that is just some stone. So that shouldn't be too hard, I believe. Um, cobblestone should do. Let's come here, see if we can make one. Yes, we can. Great. Now I put it, uh, let's put it here now. Why not? And, oh, I need at least one of uh, a few of the blaze powders. Now with that, regeneration. No, I don't have any gas tears, so I guess, <laughs> I guess, I guess at the moment we should just go with the uh, normal bookshelves. Man, I was hoping that I could get the hell shelf ones, but we have what we have. So let's put down the enchanting table in the middle and have the bookshelves go around like one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four one uh half ten more all right three three i've got four more let's just put it like so there we go and we should put the torch right uh, torch 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 always keep the torch um always keep the place lit up yep that's all lit up and i think that should be about it now, uh, can we, oh, no, why is it 50? Well, it does go up to 30, so I guess that's that. Uh, uh smite 50, no, I want, I want, I want, I want, uh, how about I put a book in, bullseye, no. Uh, there are a way to do this, so let me just come here and show you. There are something called tomes and uh, apotheosis and the scrapping no arches, no fishes, miners, weaponry is, I think, what we want. Boots, leg plates. Helmets, others uh, might try the others as well, uh, but what we need to do is just have a blaze powder or a blaze rod. Uh, you know what? Let's just do the blaze powder one for the weapons. There we go. And if I put this in, it should give something some enchantments that can only go into the outlaw. <laughs> <laughs> Level requirement 330. Wow, I am only at 24, so I guess that is not where we are going to go today. Um, but yeah, this is our enchanting setup. I will try to get these up to um, Hell Shelf or get more bookshelves around so that we will have higher level of... Let's see. This is more than 15, so yeah, higher level of... Uh, enchantments but yeah that is basically what we will probably be doing in between episodes then um, then uh, what I want is basically ore doubling because we are actually running low on ingots um, we do have quite a few bit of chunks but so it is always good to have um, ore doubling so we will want to get into something called the mechanism the first of course is the metallurgic infuser now by the way oh by the way i put down uh where is it where is it where is it? there it is 
Uh, I put down the um, solar panels and energy cells so that it will just gather up some energy for us while I'm away. But anyway, let's come back here and start making some stuff. So uh, what we need is, let's see, infuse a four iron, bunch of uh, osmium. Okay, so uh, redstone... Uh, in oh oh there it is okay uh stack of you and get a bunch of you all right so coming back here we should have uh let me just get eight and because i'm sure that we will need more as we go metallurgic infuser start of mechanism now let's just break these um quickly And we will have our uh, power going in from, no, not you. Um, the, yeah, it, it, it will do that. Uh, the uh, Ender Hopper will sometimes pick up stuff. Anyway, uh, let's just come here and put the um, uh, energetic cube there. And we will have solar panel on, on top so that it will keep on gathering the solar uh, power for us um let's can we do this yes it is connected and if we look 150 feet per tick that's quite uh, enough i guess uh we will have the uh, metallurgic infuser here so with that that is the start of um uh, mechanism yes uh now let's go into the quest looking here we have metallurgic infuser uh we probably need to do a few of these as well but let's get something called enrichment chamber because that is the start of or doubling so uh the enrichment chamber basically what it does is it just breaks down ores or i believe it should also break down chunks um please tell me it does break down chunks into and doubles them don't they don't they don't they no no please 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 i don't see any um Ah, there it is. Chunks do uh, double up. <laughs> it's nice to know. I was like, what? But yeah, so we need steel. For steel, uh, what we can do is we can use uh, centrifuge, but that's a no. And a smelter, that's also no. Um, for steel, oh yes, we need the steel dust. And for the steel dust from the, uh, to get the steel dust, we need... Uh, charcoal and enriched iron and enriched iron is just coal and iron and good so uh, we do have quite a few bit of iron and let's go and pick up maybe a bunch of coal get in here to sleep and let's go and see uh, so in order to get uh, steel what we need to do is have I believe one will do Let's see. Yeah, one will do. But we need two for two to actually get the seal. Because if we do that, it will uh, give uh, enriched iron. And we will have to put that enriched iron in there to get the um, steel. The easy way, uh, or not the easy way, but the smart way would be to have, uh, let's see, two of the metallurgic infusers and have them go side by side. Mm -hmm. like so and have the um, oh uh, oh there is one other thing that I want to get into before going into all that uh, there is something called the pipes uh, that's just tin and glass so the pretty pipes is something you can actually do to do a bunch of things but we will get into the depth of that in the later episode I think 
Let's just get some pipes. Uh, actually, that was not what I wanted at all. Oh my god, I am I'm going crazy. Um, so we can get the energy cables from the power, or use the universal cables from the um, yeah. I think I will get go and get the universal cable from that. Uh, from the mechanism there. Uh, so what we can do, I believe, is put 30, 20, uh, yep, do that and have like a bunch of you go in there and have you output to the left and auto eject and you should take in from the left and output to the left and this would start, oh, I guess I should probably just put that there. And this should start actually getting the enrichment iron into the seal of dust that we want. And the other one other thing that we can actually do, I believe, is to have something called the energized smelter. Um, yeah, uh, that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I guess, I guess we can just wait for the uh, steel to come out of this little thing. There we go, four steel. Um, I guess that should be enough for now. We can just cook it up. Or, uh, and put these stones. Uh, we have tofu, tofu, and these are two are empty. I should just put that away. And yeah, uh, that should give me at least a few pieces of steel, and that should uh, allow us, allow me to start making the enrichment chamber, which needs. Oh, 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 I completely forgot about that. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um. <laughs> uh... Yeah, we will get a few more pieces of steel, and steel has to stop right there. Oh my god, oh my god, my god, my god, my, my, my god, my god. Okay, so let's uh, just start by making the um, steel casing. We need some glass and more osmium, of course. You know what, I think getting a stack of osmium to work with would be nice, and getting some glass as well. There we go. Now go and get your steel casing. That is one. We will probably need a bunch of these, but because steel is so hard to get at the moment, that is all I want. One other thing that I can do actually, ah, yes, I should probably do that. We can actually get something called steel B. Uh, steel B is easy enough to get actually. Uh, looking here, there is steel honeycomb and there are steel bees and they can be made by coal and iron then that's just eight blocks of iron and eight blocks of coal and i believe i can get eight blocks of each oh no <laughs> i don't have enough iron i should probably just start up the ore doubling first then you know try to get into whatever uh anyway uh now we have all that stuff but we have to dump them so that um we, we won't you know really have to worry too much about uh, no i didn't have to dump the left one. Oh god why am i so stupid just call me stupid yeah <laughs> all right uh let's come back here get two red stones in there and get two iron ingots in there and that should also give me a little bit of why do i only have three steel dust uh but anyway let's come back here put you in get eight of five of you and let's get the universal cable first because i am sure that we will need a bunch of you and let, now we can go and break down the uh basic what is it basic energy cell and have actually these come out like so we will have an, an array of um, machines coming from left to right there we go infused alloy now with these we should be able to make the enrich enrichment chamber new oh my god I used the wrong one uh, all right, so <laughs> they will come in handy at some point. So no worries at all. No worries, really. Uh, no worries, but 
Uh, I'm sad. Uh, we can also do something like this, I guess. No, all right, so two redstones needed for one of the control circuits. That's a lot of thing, a lot of thing. Let's pick those up, go back home, and now we should be able to make the enrichment chamber. There we go, finally. Um, so the enrichment chamber, basically what it does it is this is what doubles your ores. So you put that down like so, you go and pick up your chunks, uh, chunks, chunks, chunks. Uh, we'll move around the uh, machines to make more, uh, so that it will make more s sense in, uh, in, 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 in the flow of the work, I guess. Uh, you put all those in and it will give, start giving uh, two pieces of iron dust per chunk yeah there it is and we are running out of power oh yeah oh we are oh we are uh okay so only the top one should be the input and the rest should be output and there we go we have power and we are getting stuff oh by the way one other thing that i wanted to do before you know getting in too far uh is something called mining card and the aerial pearl of course uh so the player transmitter from power uh oh we also need to go through that in a moment so yeah uh, but yeah so we need the casing the capacitors and the rods so I believe I have all of them uh, yeah and all I need is those and uh, yes of course and boom there we go player transmitter I believe I can get it up to the basic one there we go and what it does what it does what it does is charge everything in our inventory that is wonderful really wonderful uh, I can just put you up there and it will start uh, we if we have something in our inventory it will start charging oh also i will need to bind the binding card um and put that in there and this will start charging everything in our inventory of course we don't have anything in here and uh, the sound is terrible so we will actually uh make a mechanism uh i will uh, muffle that and muffle this so no need for muffling upgrades it's wonderful um anyway let's go back and see if we have any more of the uh, steel yes we do and now i guess that means we can actually make the ener energized smelter uh, but of course not uh, i was i'm i'm too naive to think that we can actually make the um stuff with the stuffs what we need is more of the these things yeah uh, that will give us what we need uh, meanwhile our um, ore is being doubled uh, usually the way the these machines flow is from left to right so I'll probably have the smelter on the uh, right end and have the enrichment chamber on the next and have like a big chest here so that we can actually um, get the <laughs> get the uh, outputs into the chest and yeah that is going to be great but let's see here uh yes they are done oh, now let's pick them up not 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 have them like so uh let's go back home and see if we can make the um smeltery there we go uh, energized smelter great 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 uh we will have that on the right end right there uh and you know what because just because let's just break you down and have you come out of out of out of uh, our inventory there and put you on right there and you see it outputs to the right by default and it is cooking up iron and if we have a chest 
of course, the, this chest is not going to be found. I will be upgrading it to um, what I'm going to put, by the way, is just a normal chest. So uh, let's put two of those back and have a chest right there. Uh, but chest, no, just normal chest will do. Let's go and put this right there. And if I set this to auto eject, things are coming into our chests and of course I need to muffle the terrible mechanism sound here there we go and let's put these metallurgic uh, infusers back here so that it won't get in the way of ore doubling but this is it for the ore doubling um, one other thing I will probably want to do is have a chest where we can dump in the, um, uh, where is it, dump in whatever ores we pick up and have them actually uh, do stuffs for us. So let's just do that and have you, and the easy way to have, it, it will, it, by the way, it does not automatically pull items in. So what you have to do is actually have a chest. Uh, I don't know what. Let's just put it right there and have uh, these pipes. Uh, we can use whatever, but the pipe is what I'm using for now because I just wanted to try them out. Um, and have these pretty pipes here. Um, now I need to make the... Uh, what is it? <sighs> the pipes. Uh, wait. Um, yeah, the extraction module is what we need. They shouldn't be too hard, so let's just get into them real quick. Uh, what we need is, I believe we needed uh, three pieces of copper, I believe. Uh, copper and some stone. Three pieces of stone these and we also need a piece of redstone we have that and we can have you that is iron too okay that uh, we have that okay so i guess we can actually do that uh oh actually you know what we can do the oh uh, we can't do the invar or electrum so i guess the low um extraction model is all we can do i believe i had some uh, slabs somewhere no uh, I keep using them up somehow. I have no idea how. But anyway, uh, let's... Ooh, we are missing one copper nugget. Let's go pick up that and have... You know what? Uh, no. Uh, okay. So let's just make a blank module there and have a redstone uh, servo there and have the low extraction module and now what we have to do is go and i know it is night but i just want to do this so let's just ignore everything uh, we should probably cut all that off and have a blank hand and no uh there and have that in there and now we can just put uh, all the chunks in there and they will be doubled and be made into whatever and come back as whatever um or i should just put that back in no uh maybe i will get one uh, other you know uh, stack of iron let's just put that in there and they should start moving little by little uh wonderful and get stacked into the enrich him, enrichment chamber and have them turned into um, iron ingots. Very, very great. I should be able to put this in, but... Uh, uh, one more. Come on, come on. This is so slow. I will probably get the upgrades for these um, as we go because this is too slow. Uh, upgrades. There are speed upgrades, energy upgrades. I will probably need a bunch of uh, energy upgrades and also a bunch of uh, speed upgrades to actually make things go uh, smoother and use up less energy and go faster by a decent amount. But yeah, that is it for now. We have or doubling, guys. Uh, ooh, look at that. That is not good. Uh, we have gotten into mechanism today. We did see... Uh, what else did we do, actually? Oh, we have the enchantment set up. I uh, will probably go through... Uh, burn through a lot of... Um, 
XP and try to see if we can actually get the enchantment going. We have your doubling, which I love. Uh, but the thing is, I always use mechanism, so I was thinking maybe I would go with thermal uh, in our dynamics. But yeah, mechanism it is, because that is cool. Anyway, that is it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, maybe consider uh, pressing that like button or, you know, subscribing to the channel or even leaving a comment if that is your thing. Anyway, that is it. I hope you all had a good day. Uh, have a good day. And I hope to see you all again. Bye-bye.